Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews. In today's video, I will show you guys the best city tweaks for the first week of May 2017. The first tweak for this video is called Colorgram and it allows you to colorize the Instagram app. So as you can see right here, you can basically colorize any part of the UI of the Instagram app and just customize it the way you like. So you can see here, you can add a different color for the font and a different color for the UI and you have many more options to configure for this tweak as you can see Instagram looks pretty cool like this so you can do all these configurations from the settings of this tweak so you enable it here and then you have all these sections here of the UI that you can colorize so you go to one of them and just pick here any color you want and all you need to do is just close and open Instagram again and the changes will, will take effect. The next tweak for this video is called AMP. This is a tweak for the control center. You know on the control center on iOS 10 you have two different pages. But when you open the control center the first page will be the page where the toggles and the quick launches are. But you have another page of course here you will have the media controls. But with this tweak installed when you're playing music in the background you can see when you open the control center it will always take you to the media controls instead of the first page where you have your toggles. So when you have music playing in the background it always opens the control center to the media controls page. Nocturne. This tweak will bring the dark mode to the settings app. As you can see here the settings app looks pretty amazing. This tweak right now is on beta so it only supports the settings app and probably on future updates it will support and bring dark mode to other apps as well. As you can see right here it looks pretty amazing. The settings app on with the dark mode enabled it looks pretty cool. To install this tweak you will need to add a repo which you can find in the description of the video and then you can install the tweak for free. The next tweak is called Safari Reader Full Scroll. It adds two new features to Safari. So if a page has a reader view available, it will force it to load on the reader view. And also it will add the full scroll feature to Safari. So the second you, you start scrolling on a page, you can see it will remove the top and the bottom bar and the status bar and everything will be removed. The page will go on full screen the second you start scrolling on a page. And if you jump to the settings of this tweak, here you have the two features. You can enable both of them or you can choose whichever one you want to enable. And you can have one enabled at a time and the other disabled. Spot Life. You know on iOS 9, when you swipe here, it will take you to the Spotlight Search. On iOS 10, you will have the widgets. Well, with this tweak, you will have back the spotlight on your home screen when you swipe from the left to the right like this. And also, you can replace the widgets on the lock screen with the spotlight search. So you can see, as well as on the lock screen, you will have the spotlight there instead of the widgets. Under the settings of this tweak, you have enable buttons to enable the spotlight for the home screen as well as for the lock screen. And the last tweak for this video is called Auto Folder Close. You know on iOS 10 when you open an app that is on a folder, when you close that app it won't take you to the home screen but it will take you back to the folder. But with this tweak installed, if you go ahead and open an app from a folder, when you go ahead and tap the home button it will take you directly to the home screen instead of the folder. The tweak doesn't have any settings to configure, all you have to do is install it. So that's it for this video guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it. For more videos like this make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and also for more news regarding iOS, jailbreaking and Apple in general go ahead and follow me on my social media, you will find all the links in the description of the video.